Hello everyone, so this is part two to my previous video and the reason was I didn't want to miss any of the aisles or miss any of the items that were in this store. This store was so big to me and so I um, took my time and because the video was so long I had to break it up into two. So here you are seeing the, maybe the last 15 or 30 seconds of the previous video and then I'll continue on and share with you the other part of the store. I actually spotted these at Michael's for $8.49, those wooden stickers, and I thought, oh my goodness, that is absolutely nuts. So definitely know that they are so much more expensive at Michael's if you can get your hands on those stickers. You can probably tell that this is my absolute favorite aisle. I love all the seed beads. I love everything that they have here. It is terrible, but I almost own a little bit of everything. There's, these are new to me, the little earring backings, but there's just so many craft goodies here that you would pay so much more at Michael's. These page protectors, oh sorry, finger protectors are awesome when you're using hot glue. And this boning set, I have to say, is a great tool set. And for the price, this one here, though, is definitely not worth your money. So don't invest on buying that tweezer set. They don't pick up as at all. And the art palette, that's six in a pack. That's fantastic if you're doing painting or kids crafts or anything like that. If you've watched my glue comparison video, I showed a dream catcher that I make. Sometimes my dream catchers are a little bit more detailed than the one I showed, but I do use those brass rings from the Dollar Tree to create them. And here we go with part two. So I wanted to show that they have a new line of washi here, and I haven't been able to find a unicorn print or anything like that, but these are what we have right now. And the little activity pads are always nice to look at because these are great papers for making pocket letters or embellishments, anything really that you can think of. And this paper here is fantastic for making faux wood looking backgrounds. I created a really cute DIY for my coffee bar using that paper pad. Has anyone tried these assorted glues? I'm curious if they work well. Yeah, these are so cute, especially for summer, like when you're traveling to the cottage or anything to keep the kids occupied. It's like little games. Now, this one here is for the U.S., but I'm in Canada, of course, so maybe I'll create something for the children this, uh, this summer. But these are really cute little activity pads. I haven't seen them before. Pretty little sparkle kits. Sparkle your phone. <laughs> oh, these are like the melty beads. But you can find it at Ikea for really great value. Just go through here and see if there's anything fun. Ooh, mermaid stencil. See if there's a cute mermaid. Does anyone know if there's an actual mermaid in the stencil kit? And here's a bunch of like little grab and go kits too. Star Wars themed, Transformers. Lots of little activity pads for traveling in the car this summer or even for Christmas if you need stocking stuffers, it's a nice time to stock up on things as well. 
yes mod podge i really needed some more of this stuff i go through it quite frequently and um this is a really great value at the dollar tree these are cute little puffy stickers they're going for a lot more as well at michael's i've seen some really big puffy stickers as well like these and they're like seven dollars for a couple pieces so if you're looking for puffy stickers check out the dollar tree I love this eyelash yarn, eyelash yarn, yes, <laughs> for my pocket letter embellishments. I made some really cute stuff for Halloween using the black one. That's a really pretty for the mermaid theme, for unicorn theme. But oh, and this stuff too is fantastic. So if you want to just add a little bit of texture to your pocket letters, you can definitely use this stuff. Oh, wood beads. I haven't seen these at my Dollar Tree. I know they're quite popular. But, oh, these ones are really pretty too. These little bottles are so cute to make little, like, I guess, little charm pendants. I love these bottles. If you guys have been watching me, you know that I use them in my Michael's acrylic drawer system. Maybe I'll try to insert something above for you guys later. Oh, these are cute little cross-stitch kits. I absolutely love these for pocket letters. If you guys have been following me along, you'll know that I love to wrap my pocket letters in those little flags. Some really great finds here in the crochet department, all sorts of different needles, even yarn needles, lots of different options here. I always like browsing through this department here and the reason is because there's always different styles, sizes, shapes, some of them are mounted, others are flat, so there's always something new in the artist canvas line and so I really do enjoy looking at different stores for what they carry. See some of them are like 8x10 and then some of them are smaller. I am thinking I'm going to purchase one of these. I have a few, but I need one more. I keep looking for the stackables and can't find them. I also haven't been able to find the gel super glue ever again since I purchased it. I would say like half a year ago, maybe even a year ago, and I just haven't been able to find it. So if anyone sees it, let me know if it's still out there or if it's been discontinued maybe. Oh, I always like looking at the home decor. They have the cutest stuff. Look at these little... Oh my goodness, they're so pretty. You can spray paint them and change them, but so cute. They kind of remind me of there's a specific line that makes um, kind of little statues like that. The little French bulldog is so darn cute. And there's the feather tray that is so versatile. Ray Ray, she came up with, um, suggested using it as a spoon holder, and I absolutely love it. It's next to my coffee machine and is super cute. This one says Diva. I'm not sure exactly what that is. And I'll just go through here and show you all the little trinkets that they have. Of course, there's all these little signs and then the little vases that you can even change the color of these as well um, to match your home decor. Ooh, these are so cute, the little keeper magnets. Do you guys remember these as kids? Wow. They have little poems and stuff on them. I really like these little oil diffusers or wax melts and stuff. It's so cute in a theme of a bathroom with like the beach decor, the little anchor, and they're like textured, so they're really pretty. Oh, a little shell candle to go again with the, any beach theme decor that you have maybe in your bathroom, so it goes with those little oil melt uh, filters. These are new. I've never noticed these before. And these would be really cute in the little rose glass tea light holders in their LED. 
Oh my goodness, there's a whole line of these. I have never seen them. Okay, I'm gonna smell them, don't mind me. They're even soy blend. This is awesome. Okay, so this print is different than the one I used to make those uh, DIY pillows with the DIY pineapple decals. I'll link the card up above if you want to see. But they look like they're a little smaller than the ones I purchased. Okay, these are really cute little dog harnesses. I know that some of you have said the clips haven't worked on previous colors, but I'm wondering if these are any better. And I love this little brush for Bear Bear. He is not picky. He doesn't, doesn't hurt him and he loves actually being brushed with it. nice to see this pet stain remover along with this shampoo that it's made in the USA so that's kind of reassuring in a way for maybe products being used in the product and I love these little dog wipe bags along with the little holder I use them on our Lux together how cute are these little magnets these are new to me oh my goodness look at the little cats they're together and they make the little heart shape a little oh so cute fun little magnets for sure oh this looks fun and temporary hair color has anyone used this i've never done any colors in my hair but sometimes with the kids in the summer it'd be fun to do something on them pure and natural um makeup munchies and more she mentioned that this suds very well and it's much more expensive on amazon so it might be worth a try these are always cute there's like the little lips the little pin here your little rainbow and a heart pin well these look interesting ipads I always like having these little things on hand for putting together in little gift baskets or even together with a basketball or football or something sporty. They make for a good part of a, a gift. Oh, inflatable boot shaper. Little fans. <laughs> Some pretty prints. I love this scarf. What a beautiful print. I wonder what I can do with that. Mm, so many nice scarves. Crafty Sure Cupcake just hauled this, so I'm going to try it and see if it suds. I have tried the Dollar Tree other brand and I was not happy with it. And so I think I'm going to give this one a try. I'm a Dawn, I'm a Dawn user. What soap do you frequently use? And just show you guys some of these things here and just compare if there's the same amount in each container or bottle I should say oh I've never seen this stuff at my store made in USA is this a brand like a big brand at a hardware store and they still have all the Lego packages. I'm not sure if these are restocked or if they've just been continued from the Christmas season, but uh, you can make some really cute portable on the go Lego containers. I'll put a link or maybe like a little picture up above. This stuff works really well. I really do like the totally awesome product by the Dollar Tree, but remember you get more in this big bottle. So if you have your own spray pump, just put a spray pump on the bigger one. I love this soap. Um, it, I just like scrubbing my clothes sometimes with a little bit of soap to remove a stain and this stuff works really well. This one here is a lot bigger than the little one but I'm not sure which one is your favorite if you've tried them. And some Clorox bleach. Oh, I'm looking for the bowls, but I'm looking for the mugs that match this print. So there are plates that have this beautiful flower print. Not that one there. Oh, one mug. One lonely mug. This one's coming home with me.
these mugs are massive. I can't even tell you, they're huge. They don't even look like it on the screen. They're so big. Oh, these are new to me. There's three in a pack. They'd be cute for making like little party, or is it? Yeah, they, they're BPA free, so you can put popcorn in them, or you can make like little goodie basket thingies, wrap it in cellophane for a kid. Nice tea selection that they have here. So there's this lemon. I actually purchased that one there and I haven't tried it yet. That looks like strawberry. And then I know there's pomegranate and I think that's at the bottom, but I'm not even gonna attempt to do that with one hand. Oh, this is a new find. Clover leaf. And these are little toppers. There's the tikka masala, maybe a lemon pepper tuna. And wow. This is cool, Guy Fury, and here we are with some sauce. I'm gonna have to give this a try. Has anyone tried that? There's some macaroni and cheese, hotel pasta, and it looks like there's even mac and cheese extra, I guess, seasoning, cheese seasoning. Wow, these sauces are all new to me. We don't have this at our local Dollar Tree. Well, the shrimp there is, the sauce oh this is new too steak seasoning cute little bottles they're glass i've never noticed those at my local dollar tree even these seasonings i don't think i've ever noticed french fry seasoning hmm I sometimes talk about this, but be sure when you're looking for packages, especially of these like phyllo pads and stuff, or sponges, that you look for the times that they have the bonus packs. So see this one here comes with three, the other one only came with two. I've seen some people completely transform their backsplashes in their kitchen using this Dollar Tree foil backsplash sticker stuff. If you google it, I'm sure you'll find some images. I still love these placemats. I'm tempted to buy one just for decor on my craft table, but I don't need it. It's just so, they're just so pretty and simple. I just wanted to point out that there's some bamboo sticks. So there's two brands. There's the Cooking Essentials. There's 100 pieces in this pack here. These are coffee stir sticks. And then there's the um, Kitchen Company. So the bamboo sticks in the kitchen company are, there's a hundred in them, but they're a lot smaller. So if you're going to be DIYing and you need the two for a combination for length, you can paint these, spray paint them and make a really cool wreath with them. Definitely pay attention to the size of the bamboo sticks. These bracelets are so cute. How fun for like a Canada day or July 4th. And just put them on your kids and they light up and there's just different styles oh the little mermaid nail clippers these are the sweetest and then you've got your back scratcher extendable one I should get one for my kid <laughs> and here we are wrapping up i did a diy a little farmhouse diy using these last year and i think it turned out so cute i'll link the card up above just in case you want to see what i did and Oh, these are so sweet, the little unicorn pens. Really, really cute. Little danglies. I thought they lit up, but they don't. Anything else so cute? A little blue. And there's the Sharpies and stylus pens. Cute little bells. Just want to say thank you so much for watching this shop with me. I hope you enjoyed it. I look forward to sharing my haul with you very soon. And until next time, bye for now.